work when Kazuya was revealed for the game, and he was like, just tell me, bro, like, about, like, how, like, he first got introduced to Tekken when he was, like, seven years old, and, like, I don't know, just, like, just, like, this big, like, long story about, like, his history with Tekken, so I know he's excited for, uh, Kazuya tomorrow. Uh, for now, he seems to be going Ness against, Is he Ness? uh, Stockholm 16. Yeah, he goes a lot in Ness, uh, recently dropped Inkling a couple of months ago, and also goes Roy, uh, right. primarily. So I those, could, those are his, uh, big go-tos. I didn't recall Torch playing Ness since... All I recall Torch 4 is being a Roy. Yeah, since Smash 4 he had a Ness and Roy. But uh, we're, we're seeing this Ness putting in a, quite a bit of work so far against Sockham. He's actually not a familiar face to me, but then again, I mean the pilot program... Uh, I notice I notice that the pilot program tends to bring in a couple more uh, new faces than the uh, latter Wednesday tournaments t seem to do for the um, Pure Smash events. I noticed that these tend to bring in a couple more new faces, so it looks like we're, that's what we're getting here today. Yeah, I uh, think so far pretty even set. Yeah, I think it's a multitude of reasons. Of one, probably maybe because it's a Monday, people have mm. Mondays off more than they do the middle of the week Wednesdays. That's just right. unfortunate to see. But also probably because uh, people don't like Lilac. That's true, and we do run Lilac during our uh, Wednesday tournaments, so it's most likely that people are uh, probably just going mostly for the rule set. And to be honest. Uh, I, I think it's great that SNK Gaming has those options available to people. Um, just giving the opportunity for us to experiment and to also uh, give people what they already know they want at the same time. Um, and then, you know, maybe introduce people to things that they didn't necessarily know they want to, whether it be like a particular stage list or things such as that there. Um, but I mean, so far we're, we're seeing Torch putting in some work, taking one stock off of Sockham, the first one for the night. Oh, um, I recognize Sockham now. You do really okay. Why, why don't you give us a little bit? Yeah. Of so I didn't recognize one. I didn't recognize the tag, and two, I didn't recognize the. Uh, I didn't recognize what the face mask on, or the different type of mask than I'm used to. But Sockham's actually someone, actually a a very good competitor from out from Maricopa. Mar Maricopa. Really? Okay. So like a completely different uh, part of the valley there. That's uh. Yeah. Interesting to see him show up over um, here all the way on. Uh, one this of is, his. Uh, uh, Gilbert, right? Yeah, one of his fellow yeah. uh, Maricopians, if you want, if you want to call it that. Um, we'll go with that. Also, also out here, so that's what made me think. Wait a second, he is from there. It, it it is. Um, one of the tags he used to go by is like Epic Gamer, hence the Ooh. Epic in the uh. Yeah, we got tag. Epic in his tag right now. And did very well performing against uh top GCU in uh in-state talent at uh, one of the Maricopa like super locals I would call it it uh, was like 60 people with a thousand dollar pot or something like that right Jinx yeah actually, no I mean to, to be honest uh, I, I think I may or may not have heard of one of those tournaments that was being hosted I know they're like somewhat new if I'm not correct if I'm not wrong um uh, you're not wrong Jinx actually took the uh, super that and it he took home I believe it was $500 what? Yeah. That's actually impressive. Wait a minute, I didn't even know they were hosting that. It was actually, I think I think I might have heard, oh, heard of it, but like, not. I didn't have like too much information to go off. Yeah, of it was five hundred dollars of Maricopa taxpayer money. Dang, that's crazy. Actually, I might need to uh, keep an ear out for the next one then. But yeah, here we are. Sock, I'm not doing too. Uh, he's one throw away, I guess. But yeah, one stock behind, but not by too much percentage here. As uh, Torch is trying to keep the stock going for as long as he can, and Sockham seems to be progressively closing in there with a couple of successful uh, Zare attempts. Uh, but it just seems like Torch is doing a pretty good job at keeping up the pace that he's been maintaining since basically the start of the match here. Uh, very wary of where Sockham wants to be throwing out these grabs and uh, doing a successful job at uh, punishing, if not at the very least, avoiding those attempts there. So we're, we're seeing that continue on here throughout this match. Good. I'm seeing a lot of jab strings, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's actually been a minute since I played his Ness in particular, but uh, yeah, it seems to be a lot of jab strings and jab strings that are connecting nonetheless. We jab got it down here to our last stock situation. Yeah, jab isn't bad in sense, it's very quick, and it gets them away from you, especially with the last launcher hit. Yeah, it seems to be showing up as pretty reliable here for Torch, like you mentioned there. Uh, we're going to see an up tilt, no attempt with an aerial if you like we planned for. Excellent job being wary of those uh, PK fires, though, as he seems to be closing in uh, pretty frequently here. A lot of aerials. 
We got Stockholm doing a get up attack on the stage here, landing an up tilt in the back air. Okay, got a pretty good string going on here. And to be honest, considering that he was kind of behind for the entirety of the match, uh, for the most part, he seems to be doing a fairly good job at catching up here in the last stretch. Yeah. We got our Nair landing here. Good forward air, and we got the percent just about as tight as can be right now. Did you find Torch off stage landing with a neutral get up? No, Epic off stage. Oh, unfortunately, no decided to stage. get up into the yo-yo. An... By the way, tell me if I'm right. ahead. Oh, yeah, I think you are a little bit ahead. I'm gonna refresh you. All right, it's because remember I'm seeing it direct feed. That's true. All right, let me see if I can refresh. Okay, yeah, it went up a couple seconds. All right, I think we're caught up. All right, cool. Yeah, really, really good closeout to game one here. It seems like uh, Sockham is doing a pretty good job at catching up to Torch's tricks here on Ness. Uh, so assuming that they don't have any counterfeits, I don't have too much information on Sockham, but assuming that he's staying Lucas, which seems to be the case, we might be seeing a little bit of a switch up in uh, in his approach here to the matchup going into the second game here. Um, I faced I faced uh, Sockham before in a in a Ness Lucas match. But I'm a uh -huh. completely different Ness. I rely much more on camping than Torch does. So I think the shock. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Ooh, that but is. I think the shock of playing a different type of Ness is. Or a different type of a mother character, I guess you could say, is getting to uh, Sockham. Yeah, that seems like it may be playing somewhat of a factor in there. And I mean, we've got an unfortunate SD that occurred in the very beginning parts of uh, the second game here. But, uh, Sockham's doing a pretty good job at landing that percent up on the torch here as he goes up to 70, uh, going on to 80%. So it's a bit of a disadvantage to find yourself in, um, but it seems like Sockham's doing a pretty good job at uh, keeping up that momentum. I mean, you know, the last time you did see, like, a pretty similar lead that Sockham, um, that Torch had maintained on Sockham, but unfortunately, uh, Torch wasn't able to maintain that pace as Sockham just seemed to have been progressively catching up here. And we see that a little bit. But it's going to be a little bit harder considering that SD was so early on in the stock here the second time around. Yeah, you'd love to. You'd think it's a really even game right now. Or you'd, you'd think it'd even be in Sockham's uh, favor, but unfortunate with that really yeah, early SD. Stock count. Yeah. That's right. And now we've got uh, Sockham off stage here again at 89%. And Torch, meanwhile, going up all the way to the near 150 threshold. But he's still doing a good job at laying on that percentage on Sockham here. And even a back air! Gonna catch his recovery attempt on the stage. Max Rage backer, and they're not the heaviest of characters, these two. That's true, and now we've got Sockham here in his uh, winner's, uh, winner's stock here at the yep. moment, but he managed to close out his first stock here for the second game. And uh, they're kind of just feeling at the neutral now, now that they're both at the mid to early percents. People real people um, like really hype on Ness up air. I think Lucas up air is really good as well. It's I think quick Lucas and actually, it kills. Yeah, I'm not like sure if the frame data is too different, but I do know that Lucas does have a little bit of an earlier time uh, taking stocks than Nessie's. If I'm not mistaken on that, there sounds about right. The only thing, uh, only major drawback is the fact you can't do drag down shenanigans. It's true, you do miss out on the drag down capability on that there. Uh, it doesn't seem like Lucas is very uh, reliant on drag down combos. Seems to be playing somewhat of a different game in that sense there. No, Lucas is very more. I would say zony slash spacey. You you want that, them out of your zone compared to Ness, who can that's what do seems that. To be the case. Who can yeah, there's also, a lot more moves that uh, have like sweet spots and whatnot that you want to spray in space for. So yeah, definitely true. Fair and also TK Freeze just being such a good tool for this character. Yeah, it's a very uh, much more versatile tool than PK uh, Flash. I think it's the neutral B. Yeah. yeah. PK Flash. Um, yeah, oh, we have a really strong forward tilt. Speaking of spacing, really well spaced forward tilt. We close out uh, second stock here, bringing it to the last stock situation. But that that SD is still doing his toll here on Sockham as he's all the way up to 151. He's going to have to play it very smart if he has intentions of bringing this back. It is Max Ooh, Rage Lucas, the, though. Yeah, and the jab string that's been proving so useful for Torch who got punished just back there with a grab. I think he's pretty smart of Sockham to be ready on that there. Oh, and there we go. Oh. Right, another back here. From center stage, yeah, with a character that way, that, that'll close it out there. That'll be closing that out there. That's a, just a hard matchup overall.